Hello guys, I'm Peter from Builder Boeing. I've been doing a few videos on OEM over the last couple of uh, months. I've um, acquired some different things. Uh, I did something on the fire panel that's in the pedestal, but I've also just released a few videos on the main instrument panel in the captain side, above the screens you see in there. All the panel in there, well, that's OEM, which means it's from a real aircraft. It's been uh, sitting in a real aircraft and at some point the part has been taken out of service and then us uh, simulator builders, we can buy it and convert it to simulator use and have fun having real aircraft parts in our toy or simulator, call it whatever you want. The thing with these real aircraft parts is they work a bit different than your regular simulator. On the, um, on the input side with the switches, the wiring is a bit different and sometimes you need to cut a few wires uh, and make your own wiring in order to make it work in a simulator. On the output side with the uh, annunciators, the main issue is they run on 28 volts, which is a voltage that we don't normally have in a cockpit build. Normally we use five and 12 volts and that's it. And um, well, my annunciators, they run on 2.8 volts, something like that. So Getting 28 volts into your system is going to require something different than what we normally do. My setup in this cockpit is based mostly on either CP flight, uh, which is plug and play, and also have a uh, MIP board, main instrument panel board for CP flight, where I can put my wires into. I'm doing that on the input side, but on the output side, uh, for most of, well, actually all of the cockpit, except for plug and play units, I'm using Fitbit uh, LED cards, the 64 LED cards, and they are so neat. And for all the inputs that I've manually wired, like the entire overhead, I'm always using Pokies cards. Pokies, because they are reliable and they are easy to use and they're natively supported in ProSim, which means if you want to configure a switch, I just push the button, click the switch, and then in ProSim, I press recognize this please and then it knows that that switch is connected to that board on this port number and that port number is my let's say seatbelt switch or whatever landing light switch whichever switches and boards that can do that and it's not only uh, pokies many different uh, boards can do that but they are just so easy to use and that's why i'm using them so getting 28 volts into my existing setup was, well, not a challenge, but I needed to do something else than what I normally do. And for my fire panel, I've been using relays. I've showed that in the fire panel uh, interfacing video. I use relay boards and they work, they click all the time when you use them. But you can do that. And uh, there are also other relay boards that's software control, at least without um, hardware clicking. Uh, relays, but I'm going a different way. Uh, I'm going to utilize uh, Pokies once again. And with the problem with Pokies cards is they don't handle uh, output current very well. If you want to have uh, LEDs, something like that, turned on by Pokies card, you need some extension board. And uh, in the fire panel video, I covered the uh, ULN 2803 board, which you can connect directly into Pokies, and then it acts like a relay. It, 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 like, it sends the, the ground when you activate the pin, that small uh, extension board will then send the ground out to your LEDs. But they're not very good at handling high voltage, I think, so that's why for this uh, setup, I'm going to go with this card, which is a extension card made by the guys behind uh, Pokies. It's called a Po X Bus OC16, a Po Bus X16. It's in the description right there. Now, full disclosure, this card is around 14 euros. It was gifted to me by Postscope, the company behind Pokies. All the other cards, all the Pokies cards I have in my cockpit, there's around six or seven or something like that. I've bought them myself, but this one was gifted about eight years ago um, but I haven't been able to use it because ProSim didn't support this card, this extension port. But now it does, and now I'm able to use it. And what it does, it, it allows you to have a higher voltage and up to, I think it's half an, an amp 
going through the car, the sport. So it doesn't matter if ProSim isn't able to handle the high, high current, this sport is. And so I'm going to have 28 volts going in and then all the ground going out to the different enunciators in my main instrument panel. You plug this into your Pokies card with this white plug that's in the middle of your Pokies card and you can actually daisy chain them using this uh, red red socket here. You can daisy chain, I think it's up to eight cards, which would give you a total of around 100 outputs per Pokies card. That's pretty neat. And at the price of 14 euros, it's I think it's, it's actually good value for, for money, given that you can have one card with 28 volts, you can have one with, let's say, 12 or 4, 24 for your DC motors, you can have one with 5 volts or whatever you want for your um, annunciators. And it's just as easy to configure this card as it is with everything else in ProSim, because it's natively supported in ProSim. So let me just show you how you uh, configure a Annunciator in ProSim, it's so easy. You go into ProSim configuration and then you press, and there's, there's a, like a, a box that says F, and when you press the F, everything goes on. And then there's a prompt on the screen asking you, do you, do you see the Annunciator that you're trying to configure? Do you see it on? And then you can click, yes, it's turned on. Then something turns off, is it still on? Yes, it's still on. Then some of it turns off. And now you say, well, no, now it's not on. And then you go back and forth and through each step, uh, ProSim kind of ex excludes your different uh, cards and you end up with one annunciator that will blink and it will say, it is, it is this one, isn't it? And you say, yes, it is. So it's so easy to configure the annunciators uh, when using ProSim and boards that's natively supported. And that's why I'm so thrilled that this is now supported by ProSim and I'm able to use it. So this is gonna be my solution for getting 28 volts for my real aircraft panels in the main instrument panel up there. Better get to the wiring. I'm Peter from Bilderberg. You guys take care, bye-bye.